Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Rich I'm Jaime Fuego. Here to knock out a couple of trailer reactions, and we're starting with the second season of Mr. Mercedes. I believe yes. this is a movie about a guy that rolls around and asks people for Grey, Coup for Grey Poupon. Am I right? Wrong. Oh. Correct me. It's based uh, on a Stephen King story. Oh, yes. okay. Trilogy of books to second, be specific. Third. Gotcha. Third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Is it one season per book? Is that what it's yes. trending as? Apparently so, yeah. So um, this is going to be two seasons long. <laughs> yeah. Did you finish the first season? Because yes, I didn't. I Wait, did. there's not a third okay. book? I thought there was a third book. There oh, was, but they're book, not going to but... do that one. So the main villain from the first book isn't really in the second book. Yeah. He's just briefly mentioned. And then in the third book, he it comes full circle. And oh, so they're talking. just doing book three as the second season? Yeah. Presumably. Because what we've the, heard, so. the series is mostly about the detective hmm. and his... Um, Bill Hodges. Right. And uh, his little mod squad he has going there of detective agency. That seems an odd way to do it. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's it's not if you read the books and you'd understand because the movie it's uh, the movie the the series is about Mr. Mercedes, not about the uh, not really about Hodges and okay. the team. Yeah. And so, also, all three books open up with different perspectives of the big car rundown thing that is the the threading plot point. You know, it's okay. like different people who were at the attack where the car just mowed down all the people for the job fair. Gotcha. So, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, anyway. let's uh, let's <laughs> jump right into it. What do you say? Yeah, I'm excited to see right. what they're gonna do. In I wish Tango. I had Direct TV. Wait, I wait, wait! I said wait, wait, wait. Wait. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Mr. Horsfield's in a coma, one that's likely irreversible. He's a mass murderer. The most reviled man in the history of this town. Am I going to be able to prosecute Brady Hartsfield? He's a gore. He can't even breathe in his own. You in there, my friend? More than you know. Mm. I heard they used to sneak into his room, sit across from him. He missed me. I wanted to be there when he woke up. Why'd you stop? Realized he wasn't going to. The brain is an enigmatic country. And what my team and I are doing is mapping it like no one has before. Give him the full dogs. Hmm. He lives. We're geniuses. Are they going to have the Game Boys, Marsha? What do you think? I'm looking for my big case, and this is it. I can't make him sit up and talk. I'm helping you. You need to help me. His brain activity is spiking. It's not possible. Standing in that room, I felt like he was still among us. I don't think he's gone. You think there's some part of you that wants this case drug. to go on? You are an addict, and Brady is your drug. What do you think is happening? I think he's hypnotizing people somehow. He's in my head. Mm. I don't know how else to explain it. There's some kind of door in me. There it's it is! You did it, dude! Who comes through that door? Who? Brady Hartsfield. Our Dr. Frankenstein has been experimenting. What kind of experiments? Right now, I don't think you realize what position you're in right now. I can make you do anything I want. I can make your fingers curl. You want to oh, wow. a marriage. Let me be a part of whatever we've got going. I can get this crazy bastard to crawl out of his hole. Ollie, Ollie, Hudson Free. Come on out, Brady. I thought you'd <laughs> never ask. Going down? No, thing. thank you. Hmm. How about we have some fun? Someone broke into my house. We need to move faster. You need to wake him up. You know what they say. You paint your masterpiece. You'll live forever. Nice. <laughs> Dang. This looks more interesting than the book was, to I be was honest. I was gonna say, I thought the same damn thing because I had a lot of issues with End of Watch, and mm -hmm. this feels like they're just refining everything, yeah. you know? This yeah. looks really interesting to me as someone that hasn't read or seen anything. You should, have, you should watch the first one if you have the ability I will. to I will. watch mm -hmm. the first uh, I don't know season. where I can watch it yet, but... Um, I don't know if I still have it on my TV or not. Maybe we could binge it one day, but because it's yeah. not that many episodes, really. If you subscribe to DirecTV or whatever, even do one I of don't. their little preliminary trials, like they'll let you. It's all on their website, mm. so you can stream it. But yeah, I had mad problems with 
bringing in the supernatural in the third book because it's non-existent in the first two. Mm -hmm. And yet, in this feels more organic and like it's working better and making a little bit more sense. And Well, because they the, brought in a doctor. There was no doctor doing this in the book. Mm. Um, it was all Brady finding some sort of weird wavelength between the little game pieces that you see them holding mm. um, and like hypnotizing people with the game and controlling them and causing them to like commit suicide mm -hmm. and do all these things and just like hmm. continuing on his that's his mo yeah, is to get right people there. to like kill themselves after the mass murder um that was what he was really into so he the whole thing is him trying to find how to escape his broken body and his coma and enter in another body and continue his serial killing ways so mm -hmm. um it is a cat and mouse game between him and hodges it's and it was an interesting way to end but this looks way more exciting totally i completely concur dang yeah yeah I, i'm enthralled go ahead I, I i genuinely am you know i i had major problems with end of watch like i was just saying a little while ago and i I, I think that there was at least one specific doctor who was trying to help him, but they didn't really elaborate on the process mm -hmm. very much or anything. And so, yeah. And oh, that's true because he is the guy. Uh, it was the orderly he mm -hmm. possessed and made him his little bitch, and he yeah. was going around and doing stuff. But it wasn't this to this extent though. No, they weren't doing all. surgery and all. This Although they stuff. did have the girl from the electronics store coming and visiting mm -hmm. him and stuff, so you see she's still hanging around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Damn, damn. This looks like they are up in the ante significantly, yeah. and I cannot wait. I wish you would have finished the first season. Uh, they have done an excellent job. These, This is one of my favorite adaptations of Stephen King's. They were really um, on it with the book series, they, and what changes they made were good changes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anything that took away from the story. It actually enhanced it and made it make sense on the on the TV series. The best adaptations do that, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, this is, and I think they're going to hit it out of the park on this one, too. The acting is phenomenal. The cast is great. The, they got the gas man from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, I mean, there's not a lot of set design, but you really, like, you get the practical, like, blood effects and mm -hmm. things like that and you really care about these characters and it's a quick moving show it's not very long i think they only had like eight, eight episodes ten, something like that yeah it was it. really short but they were long they were like an hour and a half each one um yeah and i'm i'm through with wondering what um anton yelchin would have been in this role because harry treadaway the kid from uh uh, he was on the show that you both like. Penny so Dreadful. Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, he embodies this character yes. so much at this point for me. He truly does. Yeah, and he's genuinely scary. No, he was a great a casting. Thing that he, no, casting choice. Yeah, no, rest peacefully, Anton. Yeah. We love you, man. <laughs> no, he was a he was a great casting choice. I think he is Brady through and through. Well, the nice thing about this trailer is it actually looks like it could be just a really engaging movie, even a one-off movie, if you. If you didn't know this was a first season, you could actually take it as like, okay, so the setup is a serial killer is in a coma, mm -hmm. and then this happens. This could be any any '90s thriller movie, mm -hmm. and they want to I mean? prosecute him and bring him back, or bring him back so they can prosecute him and try to bring some justice because otherwise, you know. And yeah, these are these were short shorter books for Stephen King. They're like right? around four hundred pages. So. Yeah. So I I don't know. Quick I don't reads. Go, God, I almost want to reread them. Now. I and who's is it audio that's uh, doing the series? It's audience, 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 audience. network, which yeah. is the, it's like a partnership between AT and T and Directv, but it's the audience network, and that's the only way you can have it is if mm -hmm. you're a Directv person or if you have cell phone coverage with. AT I would love to see them do so. other adaptations of Stephen King because they've nailed this series. David E. Kelly did a hell of a job developing this. You know, he yeah. was the guy who did Ally McBeal, a few different dramas on Fox and stuff, and yeah, this is. Uh, I want to see more. If they end up finishing so up Mr. Mercedes and then carrying it on and start doing other ones, I would be on board. Like, mm -hmm. like I just keep raving about this. Well, the same team that is developing this is developing the one that I told you, uh, The Outsider. Oh. That has the girl <gasps> from this in it. Oh, mm -hmm. they're going to go from this to The Outsider? The oh, <laughs> yeah. snap, son. That was mm -hmm. good. That was a good one, Did too. you finish it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the yep. fact that the girl from this was yep. in it. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's so an that makes awesome sense, character. She's, she's an awesome of, she, character. Oh, she's my favorite. Yeah, she's so good. She's like super Get on board. Oh, my Jesus. Right. Yeah, Get she's so board. fun. Oh, this is yeah. so exciting. You Isn't know, it? I wish you... I, I, I'll have to check to see if... I'm sorry, if I still have... 
of those episodes. If I, I kept thinking them. about I'm going to sign up for a seven day trial and just binge. You know, just binge wait all till the it's all out and yeah. then do both seasons. That's yeah. what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, that might well, be. I was thinking of doing the same thing for Outcast on uh, yeah. on Cinemax. Yeah, get a Outcast is trial. out now. Uh, I gotta watch those. They're like three or four episodes in now. Yeah, we're I gotta. Behind guys. <laughs> All we right. got them saved. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. We got to move on to the next trailer. Anyway, yes. but I'm glad we're really so excited side. about it. No, that's good. That, that bodes well. So let us know in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for the second season of Mr. Mercedes? I'd be interested to hear if you guys are just as pumped as they are. Uh, but until <laughs> next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Marcia Parker. Gracias, Seven. I mean, Fuego. Big thanks to all of our patrons out there. We greatly appreciate you guys. But until next time, remember, stay, stay scared. scared. Marcia's from Maine.